from the Tribune News Network, this is Newsbreak. I'm Krishna Russell. Bystanders who say they witnessed Tuesday night's latest murder said the victim's last words were, man, don't let me die. Observers recounted the vicious stabbing incident of a man who they said appeared to be elderly. One individual said the deceased could possibly have been in his 50s or 60s. Witnesses alleged the attackers pulled the man out of his car and dragged him across the road, stabbed him, then tried to put him in their car. Police said they received reports shortly after 6 p.m. of a stabbing at Palm Tree Avenue and 5th Street. Initial investigations revealed a traffic incident occurred at the intersection involving two vehicles. A physical argument between the occupants of both vehicles followed. One of the men was stabbed and died of his injuries. The suspects abandoned their car in the area and fled the scene on foot. One man who asked not to be named said the victim was driving onto East Street while the suspected assailants were coming out of a corner when the men swerved and hit his car. He tried to swerve from them, the witness told the Tribune. Police have asked anyone with information on the killing to contact officers at 502-9991. That's 502-9991. As nurses demonstrated in Rawson Square for money they say is owed to them over a two-year period, Health Minister Renwood Wells told the press the government has paid nurses $162,000 in overtime between March and September last year. This is the second demonstration the nurses have held this week. They gathered in protest at the Ministry of Health on Monday. Nurses are claiming to be owed money for overtime, increments and honorary gifts promised to them. Both Prime Minister Dr. Hubert Minnis and Mr. Wells have gone on record to say the nurses Nurses will be paid what is owed to them. However, neither have said when. However, yesterday, Mr. Wells said most nurses have already been paid. He told the House of Assembly that public hospitals authority nurses have received their overtime, but said there is some overtime paperwork issue regarding some nurses in the Department of Public Health. Health Minister Renwood Wells said training for the administration of COVID-19 vaccines have already begun as the country awaits the arrival of its first vaccines. The vaccine, which was developed by the University of Oxford and then produced by AstraZeneca, is administered in two doses, 28 days apart. The vaccine is said to be 70 to 90 percent effective against the COVID-19 virus. Yesterday, the New York Times reported that a new paper says the AstraZeneca Oxford vaccine has the potential to slow transmission of the virus. The NYT added that the paper, which has not been peer-reviewed, looked at data from clinical trials in Britain, Brazil, and South Africa, the results of which were first reported late last year. A statement from the Office of the Prime Minister on Tuesday said the vaccine will arrive in the Bahamas the second half of February through the second quarter of 2021. Labor Director John Pinder said he has recommended to some major employers that they offer severance packages to furloughed workers who may need the assistance. His comment came when he was contacted for a reaction to the government extending the state of emergency and emergency powers order until May 23rd. He said, quote, I think it's safe to say that this is a double-edged sword in that there are persons who will now be in extended furlough position who would like to receive severance pay, but the employer for the most part, especially those major employers, feel as though they don't want to get rid of their good staffers, and they are not in the position to offer everybody a severance package. So they find themselves in a catch-22. Mr. Pinder estimates that the unemployment rate is between 38 to 42 percent. Your complete news and information source, this is the Tribune News Network. In international news, House Democrats on Thursday asked Donald Trump to testify under oath for his Senate impeachment trial, challenging the former president to explain why he and his lawyers have disputed key factual allegations at the center of the case. The request from House impeachment managers does not require Trump to appear, though the Senate could later subpoena him. But it does warn that any refusal to testify could be used at trial to support arguments of conviction. Even if Trump never testifies, the request nonetheless makes clear Democrats Democrats' determination to present an aggressive case against him even though he has left the White House and it challenges him to personally explain the words of his attorneys. Building elaborate venues for Beijing's 2022 Winter Olympics is the easy part for China, just as it was for the city's Summer Olympics in 2008. The competition venues are ready, and non-competition sites will be completed this summer, with the Games set to open one year from Thursday on February 4, 2022. But these Olympics are already scarred by accusations of rights abuses, including genocide against more than one million predominantly Muslim ethnic groups in the Western region. And unlike 2008, a new generation of Olympic athletes is speaking out on social issues and discrimination and challenging IOC rules against using the Olympics as a stage. 
The Tribune's AccuWeather update a service of Bahamas Power and Light Company. High pressure across the islands continues to maintain pleasant conditions through tonight. Beachgoers should remain vigilant due to the risk of rip currents mainly along Atlantic exposed shorelines. For all areas, it'll be mostly sunny and mild with a slight chance of a brief passing shower becoming fair and cool tonight. Winds northeast to east at 10 knots or less in the northwest Bahamas, 10 to 15 knots in the central and southeast Bahamas, seas three feet or less in the northwest Bahamas, two to four feet in the central and southeast Bahamas. We'll have a daytime high temperature of 73 degrees and an overnight low temperature of 61. The sun will set at 555 and will rise tomorrow morning at 650. That's news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper, now on the streets, or stay up to date online at tribune242.com.